What do you got on there? Oh yeah, we got two hours of record time. We're fucking mint. All right. Um. Now we're fucking, we're officially, I can say the party's kind of fucking behind us. Okay. A little recovery yesterday afternoon. Not really, because the fucking cows got out, but whatever. All right, we're still running until fucking dark. Um, we still got a few things in here to clean up, as you can see. Nothing huge. We still got a few leftovers in the in the cooler, but nothing huge. Most things are getting put away. Um, Katie and Mary are doing a fucking awesome job, and I'm sure Jenny has been over here helping out, so that's awesome, and I do appreciate it, because it takes a village, they say, or a dumb fucking... A few good people. So there you go. I, I'm being the I'm I I'm the dumb fuck, by the way. Um, outside everything's cleaned up, put away, except for those need to come down. But I'm gonna have to. Uh, I put the the factory little fucking cheapo stakes didn't work. They were starting to pull out, so I went and got some big fucking pole barn nails and pounded in the ground. Well, it turns out those son of a bitches are actually holding a hell of a lot better than I thought they would. Probably the whole reason those bastards didn't fly away. Especially when I had to pound them into fucking concrete, basically. So, I got them going in two different fucking directions, so I'm going to have to get the fucking uh, pry bar out and rip one of, one of them out so you can pull the other one out, and et cetera, et cetera. Fuck it. It doesn't matter right now. Um, it's 90 degrees. And, uh... Susie and Louie need their fucking lawn furniture back and we get a couple of barrels to pick up. So all in all, that's all in all, that's pretty fucking good, right? Um, so now that we kind of got all that fucking behind us and we're done with it and we don't have to worry about that shit anymore. What do we got coming up on the fucking slate now? What angle should I be at here? I don't know. It's, Squatch says I should be up here, so that way I look up all the time and I can't see where the fuck I'm going, and maybe you don't see my double chin, but I don't fucking know. I'm fat. Fuck, I don't care. Um, I do need to get a new fucking uh, tripod, so we're going to have to order one of them because I kind of broke the fucker on Saturday and then threw it across the yard and almost hit Lynn, but he was like a fucking ninja and he dodged it, so that was good. Um... Upcoming projects is obviously finishing the skirting of the house. That thing needs a little leveling and uh, things like that. I know a lot of this stuff you didn't get to see me do or us do because I was fucking running and gunning trying to get things half-assed on me for the for the party. So on the house that needs to be leveled and skirted and some insulating done underneath there. So that's coming up here in the future. Stick around for those videos. Um, greenhouse roof <laughs> that's gonna be on here we still need to move the chicken coop um, that's gonna get moved over there the pigs got to get moved to their new shelter because this thing's falling the fuck apart <sighs> it's been here for I don't fucking know 94 95 it was just a little horse shelter and it's been here forever it's just old barn doors or garage doors you can see where the wall split in there the old fence is just holding the fucking thing together this is all overgrown that old shed's falling the fuck apart there fucking shed back there that i don't know what's in i don't know what's in that fucking thing um piles of lumber laying around so all this has got to get going through um that's going to be one of the major projects here it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of hours, a lot of fucking picking and all that stuff. And then we're gonna get into the scrap metal over there. That's gotta get sorted out, taken care of. Um, there's piles and piles and piles of scrap metal over there that need to go get gone through and some old implements that I'd like to dig out that go on the Super A and those would be kind of handy from time to time. The pole barn, that's probably going to be a fall project as we're getting things wrapped up and put away. Hopefully, hopefully, I fucking try, guys. I guess you're going to say. I don't know. I don't want to get everything done that I want, but 
other than beer drinking it's not for lack of fucking trying speaking of beer i need a fucking beer um so there's about 20 percent of that that i don't even know what's in there yet i haven't been through one whole fucking corner of that building since i've owned this place for four fucking years it's true it's absolutely true um but yeah the those are kind of the major projects after amongst other things we got to get uh firewood stocked in there um i don't know what the fuck i'm doing with this mulch now that the party's over because it can't stay there that was a good thought but i don't think it'll work especially with all the fucking grass coming up through it i'll spray weed killer on it and see what happens <sighs> waiting for the guy to come get the porta potty whatever can i walk over here do a crop update for you real quick and then i gotta go take a ride see if i can figure out where the fucking cows got out um we'll jump in the old rtv and go for a buzz so this where the hell did that come up from that's a locust tree yeah, the fucking closest one is right there. And that come up since I fucking cut hay. Figured that out. I might transplant that into a pot. We'll see. Wouldn't count on it. Clover in here is phenomenal. I was going to cut this, but the last couple of days have done it fucking great. We got a chance of rain and severe storms tonight and Wednesday. Then after that, it looks like I got a couple day stretch. We're going to knock this thing down. Yeah, look at the locusts out there, too. I don't know what the hell made those come out like sun, bitch. We got a big one growing on the fence line there. Um, we're going to jump in the... We may as well jump in the side-by-side -side and go for a fucking ride. And we'll go check fence and kind of give you my plan here. I think I know what's going on back there. Water table being so low, the cows are just going wherever the hell they want. So we're going to go out there. We're going to assess things and um come up with a plan so let's jump in the side by side before we get too far tonight i'm going to uh another quick project i want to do here hey there's that mutt getting a drink yeah you heard that beer can crack you need a drink huh um usually the this side of the building is kind of shading the sun as we get later into the year you can see nico doesn't have a lot of shade there he like his little shade tree in that but he could use a little better shade um unfortunately we can't let him out too often he gets to come out and run around a little bit but if he hears a loud noise he takes off and tonight's supposed to be a thunderstorm and he kind of panics so we're gonna whip together a nice little uh shelter for him so he didn't uh, he'll go in his doghouse but obviously it's well, I, go, I you know, I don't know. He doesn't really care for it, so. Need a fucking beer for this. scratch me okay so as you can see we hauled this old uh, aluminum boat up now I might not have the best fucking ideas in the world um, my first idea was an old truck topper but I don't fucking have one this I think will do aluminum is pretty good at reflecting heat aluminum foil that's why it keeps heat in if you put it under there Keeps heat off if you put it above it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't even know what old, kind of old boat this fucking thing is. Has it got tags on it? No, it's an old rowboat. 
you can see she's been patched and patched and there's a hole and there's more holes it's not worth being a boat anymore oh that was a good push um it's got an old seat bracket in there i actually had a mud motor on this at one point years ago if you guys aren't familiar what a mud motor is it's for running in shallow water through the basically mud and water that i home built uh, but it was a pond boat and i couldn't uh find any fucking couldn't get any registration for it the paperwork for this thing was all messed up and basically they told me well fucking good luck it's scrap oh, i ain't gonna scrap a boat but so my thought is well maybe it's just fucking easier to show you Rick, are you sure another beer is a good idea? Who the fuck ever said I had good ideas? And I'm going to tell you right now, you have no fucking idea how fun that's going to be behind a snowmobile at 70 miles an hour this winter. Break for fuck's sake. All right, so we, uh, we got Get shit out of there. Any mess we didn't have before, we got now. There we go. All right, so we're digging around in the uh, lumber pile for fuck's sake. God, I got a lot of shit over here that's got to get sorted through. Or on the other side of the shed that fucking fell off. The mystery shed. Um, Jesus Christ, I got a lot of stuff. Um, I found these 4x4s four that we tore off. When we tore the addition off the house. Green treat. <clears throat> Approximately the same length. They're going to be longer than the... Uh, that boat haul anyway. So we're gonna use those as skids to put underneath there so that thing's not sitting all the way on the ground. That's gonna give it another four inches. But I think we wanna go just a little bit more than that. But we'll get these two down there and then uh, kinda assess things and see where we're at.
All right, well, we're getting taller. Um, what I'd like to do is leave the ends open so that way I can go out there and move it around and kind of get it where it's working with the prevailing wind and he's getting a draft through there. That way, you know, in the, in, in the winter time, we can put something on there to cover that up, so. Um, but in the summertime, it'd be nice so he's got a draft. I just want to make sure, you know, we're, obviously we're way bigger than that, but, yeah, I think, hell, I'd even crawl in there. So what we're going to do is we got some, uh, we'll get some insulation to put around those edges later on, so that way you ain't going to scratch them or cut them, but otherwise... That's aluminum, and with that bit that I, or that blade that I used on there, even for me, you can see, you'd be all right, but just to be sure. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some holes in there and screw that thing down, and then we're gonna put a brace across the front to kind of keep it from splaying out. If you know what I mean, it, that thing will, it'll splay out because there's nothing to hold it, so. All right. So far, we got the four by fours cut to length. We took some of these uh, timber screws and uh, secured them at the ends and the midway point. What I'm going to do is have Katie hold that <laughs> so we can push that thing in together. That brings the center up. And uh, you can see how it's splayed out right now. So we push that send bitch in and uh, secure that off so it's that wide in the front. He'll have plenty of room to climb in there and he'll have lots of room inside that thing. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push that in. I'm just waiting for them to, they just got back. They were out uh, visiting Kibitzin and all that stuff. So must be a rough life, huh dog? Yeah, I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Must be. So we're gonna get those screwed off. We're gonna drag that thing in there and get it into position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tether it off to the fence over there. That way the wind just can't get a hold of it. And uh, hopefully, and throw it around. So I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Get in there. What do you think? Oh. You like that? Yeah. Hey, right, bud. Here, buddy. Come on, boy. Yeah. Come here. What do you think? What do you think about this? You get in there? Go in there with her. What do you think? Yeah. You climb in, check it out. There you go. Good deal, buddy. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> 